Hi everyone, in this video which is part of the Node.js problems and solutions series, we're going to be learning how to connect a Node.js application to MySQL. As you can see, I have my PHP, my admin interface open here and I have a test database which has a users table and inside this users table we have four users, test user one at devtalk.com to test user four at devtalk.com. So let's begin. First, let's go to our command line and the first thing we're going to need is the MySQL package. We need to install the mysql package from npm in order to work with node.js so i'm just going to go right ahead and do that so in npm install mysql we're just going to wait for that to install and we'll get started good now that we have mysql let's clear the screen i'm going to create a node.js file and call it fetch users so what we're going to be doing is fetching the users in the users table and display them on our console. So I fetch users.js. I'm just going to open the project in Visual Studio Code. So now that we have the project open in Visual Studio Code, let's begin. Open our fetch users file and we bring in our MySQL package. See MySQL equals require MySQL. SQL. Now the first thing we're going to be doing is creating a MySQL connection. So to do that, I'm just going to say let connection equal, then we'll call the create connection function inside my SQL. And this function is going to take a bunch of options. This is an options uh, object. So we're going to be entering the details that's going to help us to connect to our MySQL database, which is basically the credentials for our MySQL database. And the first parameter is going to be the host. And because we are on our local machine, this is going to be a local host. Next, we're going to have the user. The user is root at the moment. And the third parameter is going to be the password. And for now, my MySQL installation has no password. So I'm just going to go with the empty quotes. Oh, sorry, this is secrets. This is secret, not password. Okay, so we have the host. We have the MySQL user and we have the password. Now that we have a connection defined, let's connect to the database. To do that, we're going to take our connection, say connection, and we call the connect function of our connection object. We say connect, and this is going to take an argument, which is a callback function, and we'll simply get an error object as the argument in this callback function, in case there's an error. So in just in case there's an error, we'll just say if error, just console.error, the error, the error, the error. And if there's a con successful connection, if there's a successful connection, we're just going to say console.log connection established. Connection established. So, that's good. We created a connection object and passed it our connection credentials. And then we call the connect function on the connection object. Check if there are errors connecting. And if there's a successful connection, we print this message to the console. Good, good, good. Now let's test this. Let's go ahead and test this. Go to my console and let's run node fetch users fetch users cool connection established that means everything is fine we are able to connect to our mysql database that's going to kill that let's go back to vs code we know that our aim is to get our users and print them to the console let me get some real estate here on screen real estate um so let's fetch our users let's run a query and get our users for that we're going to Still use the connection object, and now we're going to call the query function. And inside this query function, the first argument is going to be our query. I'm just going to say select all from my database test and the table users. So we're just going to tell it to get all our users from the test database inside the users table. The next argument, oh, sorry, it's outside. Next argument is going to be the callback function. And inside this callback function, we're going to have the error argument followed by the results. 
and the fields. Let's arrow that up. And we're still going to check for errors. We'll say if error. Just throw the error. And finally, we console.log the results. Good, good, good. Now let's save our file. Let's save the file and go back to our console. Back in our console, let's run the node fetch users command once again. Boom. Here you can see we can now see our users in the console. Let's scroll up a little bit. Let's scroll up a little bit to see where all this started. We see our connection was established, which was expected. And now we have an array containing raw data packets, which represent each row in the database table. We have our test user one, test user two, test user three and four. So in this video, you've learned how to connect Node.js to a MySQL database and also to fetch results or records from the database. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And for more how-to tutorials on Node.js and other technologies, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.